Hey guys, welcome to the Tarot Series 7, and reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Black Widow with motorcycle, and this is really cool. The box is really big, and it's clear, and you can see the figure with the contents and package, and it looks really nice, and we have Black Widow written here. I really like the logo and the art they did, and also uh, this little gun sinky over here with the spider. It just looks really cool. Over here, we have artwork of her on the motorcycle, and I think we have the same artwork on this side as well. And then on the back... We have this really cool picture of her with a bicycle and what kind of looks like a shield facility or something. I really like this. They did a similar thing with Ghost Rider. Uh, it wasn't like shield racing, but it was like a, you know, a display of like him on the road and stuff. And it's pretty cool. I like that they did this. And we have a bio for her over here. And we have some action shots of the motorcycle, which are pretty cool. So, um, yeah, let's open this up. So, here we have Black Widow, and uh, she looks pretty cool. Just trying to get the motorcycle to stay up. It's got a stand, but it's... There we go. I had to click it into place. Um, so, yeah. So, here we have Black Widow, and she looks really good. I really like what they did with the hair. It's really amazing. They did this nice molded job, and they just did a really good job with the hair. Really like it. And uh, she does come with an alternate head, which has longer hair, and I think the face uh, paint for both of these has been really nicely, and I really like the detailing on this hair, too. Um, I don't like to take off the alternate heads all that much on these, because, you know, a lot of times it can be hard to get them on and off, and I'm afraid the neck piece will break, so I'm not going to do that in this video, but I think it's really cool that they include both of these. And, uh, yeah, so let's think it. Uh, so, um, it's got some pretty cool detailing on the suit as well. You can see the silver, which is nice, and you can see the belt area, which is cool. It has her logo, and uh, it's been painted on, and it looks pretty cool, and it has the round things going all around it. And uh, here she has, like, her little uh, gauntlets, which in the movies are tasers. I'm not sure if she has, like, comp uh, in the comics she has, like, tasers on them, but um, pretty cool, and I like that they molded them. And the rest of the suit is nice as well. And uh, one thing I really like is this action figure is really articulate. A lot of times the Marvel Legends ones can be more stiff, but this one has a lot of articulation and joints aren't stiff or anything so that's really cool has a 360 the head can look up and down 360 at the arms swings out bendability at the elbow 360 at the elbow and also these little things can turn too and she has a 360 at the wrist and i uh, don't know if she has hinged wrist actually i think this kind of hinders it like there's a hinge there but it's a little stiff um but yeah and also articulation here 360 and uh, you can see the leg is popping off as it's on those kind of joints. And I don't really like those. But um, yeah, uh, it might come off a little bit if you're moving it. But the legs come forwards and backwards. And it can uh, 360 at the thigh and double jointed knees. And then it's kind of like on ankle rockers. But um, yeah, pretty good in articulation. Moves around a lot. That's something I like because, you know, a lot of times they make these joints rather stiff. And it's just hard to get them to move. But I really like that this one's very articulate. It kind of reminds me of the Invincible Iron Man they did in the Black Panther wave. Uh, that one was a pretty articulate Iron Man. And I like the more articulate ones. So yeah, as for the bike itself, it's really cool. They did this uh, really nice job with it. It's made to be a more modern bike. I was kind of at first thinking they might have uh, repainted the Ghost Rider one. But no, it's completely new and it's more modern and I really like it I like the uh, lighting up here well it's not really lighting but it's supposed to be like um light it looks neat and uh, you can see over here the mirrors which are nice I really like the speedometer and all that stuff they put up there at the top of the motorcycle pretty cool and then you can see the seat down here which is like that plastic thing that's supposed to be like a letter it's pretty neat and over here we have uh, the symbol which is cool only one on one side not sure if that's really accurate to the comics or anything but that's pretty neat and uh, yes but one thing I really like about this I was surprised is it's kind of like on suspensions I, I don't know if that's like supposed to be on purpose I think it is but they kind of like put these suspensions on it which is cool it's supposed to be like a more modern bike anyways and I think that's actually pretty neat that they would do that and uh, I really like that feature Feature. It's something that makes it a little bit different uh, from the Ghost Rider one because I was expecting these to be kind of really the same and I really like that they made them different like that and I also uh, like the detailing down here too. So um, yeah, that's really cool and as I mentioned earlier, there's this little kickstand. It's a little hard to get the bike to hold up because there's only one kickstand on one side and I really wish that they had done it with two sides like the Ghost Rider one uh, but other than that, it's really good and I really like it. And you can put her on the motorcycle, and it's pretty cool. Just gonna flip this little stand up really quickly. And uh, yeah, it rolls really good. And I really like this, you know. Um, I was not planning to pick this one up. I was just planning to get the Ghost Rider one. Uh, but after getting that one, I really liked how they made it. And I was uh, curious about this one, so I decided to get it. And I'm glad I did. I love the little shock suspension things. I wasn't really expecting those. It's really nicely detailed. And the action figure is really good, too. And that's what I really like about these motorcycle two-packs they're doing, like with the 
Ghost Rider one as well. Um, you know, instead of just giving you like a dull action figure or anything, they're actually giving you one that's really good with a really good vehicle. And a lot of times you don't see that in like action figure two packs with a vehicle. So I think that's pretty cool. And I totally recommend this. And uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.